Prepare for an early start the morning of January 31st, so you can witness something that hasn't been seen in 152 years. The convergence of three lunar phenomena, a supermoon, a blood moon, and a blue moon, will all be in effect and visible to a lot of people in the US and around the world. For those who don't know, let's break down what these terms mean. A supermoon is at its closest point to the Earth and appears to be bigger than normal. NASA says it will look around 14% larger. A blood moon is another name for a total lunar eclipse, when the Earth falls in between the Sun and the Moon and the Moon is completely inside the Earth's shadow. The Sun's light being scattered through the Earth's atmosphere is what gives the Moon its red glow. Lastly, the blue moon. Now unlike the blood moon, this doesn't have much to do with color, and a blue moon just means it's the second full moon taking place in a calendar month. Full moons occur once every 29 and a half days, and the previous full moon was on New Year's Day. Because this particular event happens so rarely, that's where the term once in a blue moon comes from. The super blue blood moon will be at its most visible point around 7 in the morning for people on the east coast. But unfortunately, for those in our area, we will not be able to see the total eclipse, so check NASA's website for a live stream of the whole thing. For Voxypop, I'm Troy Johnson.